know. Uh, can I give you the pen? Uh, I'll give you the Rugrats one. Yeah, anything's Oh, this is awesome. I've always wanted to do this. Awesome. Okay. I wanted to catch you last time you were at Slam, actually. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you came out. I can't remember you anymore, and I'm sorry. Jared. Jared. I probably even wrote it down. <laughs> So we're down at the bar and we got the bartender. What's your name? Hey, I'm Jared. Awesome. And what do you? How did you? Did you help create this scene? No, I, I've been bartending uh, Slam Free, and I started bartending Barb's a few months ago. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you may have seen me at Slam Free. Yeah, uh, I think so. I bartend the uh, Improv Night. You were there for that too, actually. Yes. Yeah. Damn, I keep yeah. seeing you. That was awesome. a great interview you guys did. Oh yeah. yeah, well now yeah. I'm so happy you get to do it. I'm missing stuff inside. So oh, I always want to do this. Yeah. Um, just uh, pick a pack of cards oh, yeah. that, uh, and then you talk about it for as long or short as you want. You sign one card for me, and then you keep the others if you so desire. Oh, all right. And what night is this? It's a Wednesday. This is Wednesday. This is uh, Bards on the Rocks. Yes, yeah, so it's week. the last one though of the season. Yeah, but for you have to all kinds of stuff here. Oh, yeah. All kinds of, all kinds of cool stuff. Top knot. Top knot. Top yeah. Knot. I keep saying. And I'm at Stark Brewing Company too. Oh, that's the connection. Ooh. Yes. What am I? This is a hard decision. It's a toughie. I got. Ooh. Ooh. Brewing man. Oh yeah, Growing Pains has been opened by uh, uh, Art Norman opened Growing Pains. Um, oh, Ari Shafir opened Growing Pains. Oh, Nickelodeon ones. Oh, Nickelodeon's becoming. Again. Yeah, this is all the cartoon things, and some of them are seem. I don't know if because now we know that the sh some of the stuff was maybe inappropriate because now that there's a documentary. Yeah. Every once in a while, there's a card that seems so inappropriate. Really? There's a character called Mr. Bone, and he's a gentleman, mm -hmm. and he and it's like Mr. Bone, and then the kids are reaching below screen, right to his genitals. Ew. It's crazy. I've seen it twice, and if you get that again, that's that'll be insane. All right. We got Doug and who? I can't remember. The good name. night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. We got some Rugrats parents. Mm. Got oh, some more brother. Dougs. More Dougs with those blue friends. Oh, and there's the sticker. Oh, we got a sticker. Of, it almost looks like blue. It's, it's another It's, it's another Doug character. It's his dog. It's like Doug Strong. And another, and oh, oh Ren and Stimpy. That's Stimpy or Ren? I can't. That's, that's Stimpy. Stimpy. Oh yeah, he used oh, to watch wow. this with my dad. I'm pretty sure he used to get really stoned. That's maybe is a sticker too. Yeah. It looks like it's die cut. There's a cutout of some sort. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I gotta keep this one. Yeah, you keep all but one. All right. Awesome. Oh, okay, you look bartending for this. What's your favorite night? Oh, I mean, I I dig the poetry crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're great people. They're very patient. Um, it's very it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, patient. Yeah. And like you really can watch your really videos. Screw up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's You're a busy though tonight, fucking day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very good. Yeah. See if you can get a, a shot in there. Well, now we're after hours. Almost. This is all the freaking. Oh, this is like after. This is the the people who. This is past the sign up. Mm -hmm. This is the wait list. Yeah. The people left. It's wait list. This is after the drag show. After the freaking whole thing. I don't mind. I'm nocturnal. No, why not? It's fucking. Oh my god, in like, well. What am I gonna give you? I don't know. Uh, can I give you the pen? Uh, I'll give you the Rugrats one. Yeah, anything. Oh, this is awesome. I've always wanted to do this. Awesome. Okay. I wanted to catch you last time you were at Slam, actually. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah thank you. awesome. Well, I'm so glad you came out. I can't remember anymore, and I'm sorry. Jared. Jared. I probably even wrote it down. <laughs> It's just so many people, and I go to all these different mics. This is my yeah. second mic tonight. Oh, really? Where else were you? Laconia. This oh. is a comedy one. Oh, wow. You've been around, I, yeah. I noticed. Yeah, absolutely. You got it. Awesome. Absolutely. Hey, thank go. you so much. Go see live stuff. I gotta go inside. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Wow, on the mic, uh, on the way to the mic in Laconia, the, uh, there's the Winnipesaukee. Uh, comedians opening cards and coffee. Not opening cards, not opening coffee. Close enough. Close. Comedians not drinking coffee, opening cards. Check them out on YouTube, Close guys. Put, put your hands together for a very funny man. David, thank you, everybody. Hey, how are we doing? Good. Hopefully we'll meet each other later at the uh, bar. You can try some of those wines on. <laughs> huh? It's not open. Well, it's open. I think there's just no open mic. I think you were referring that you were just going to try out those lines when you went to the bar. Not that you were going to do comedy. You were just going to see if any of those lines worked. 
Um, this is a premise. Collecting sneakers seems gay to me. Okay, I'll, I'll work on a punchline. I don't know if I'm trapped with Odysseus or Percy Jackson, but I can't seem to escape the Lotus Eaters. You? You got it. As a dude, I feel like it's my responsibility to... It's a drug joke. I can't stop smoking pot. But it could be alcohol, or gambling, or, you know, a disuse. Yeah, just not. As a dude, I feel like it's my responsibility to bleed more often than my lady. I gotta get, like, cuts and scrapes and scratches, or I'm not a man, or a boy. The coolest thing about a gun. The coolest thing about the gun is if you add another hump, it becomes the gum. <laughs> when you don't want to laugh because it's so dumb, and you do. People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. Then, I remind them, you eat ass. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery. But they're fine with assigning all foreskins to the trash bin. Like, you can only cut up, cut off the most pleasurable part. I'm voting for you. I don't understand getting tattoos. Because 99% of the time, you're making yourself more asymmetrical? Like, I'm too pretty. No, you're not. <laughs> I think I've done a couple of these ones here, but just to get to the last part, this is my Buddhist joke. Do you ever feel like everyone is already a bodhisattva? And they're all just waiting on you? And then, you see like just a jerk, and you think, I got plenty of time. <laughs> this one's for the Christians. Well, you get two, you know, the afterlife and all. You're rewarded, just believe. You've heard this one, some of you. The more I learn about the church, the more I think they should change the Lord's Prayer, shouldn't it end either ah, boys, or young men? Second Christian one. I don't know if you've been to church lately. They're always passing the collection plate. That's some Old Testament shit. This is so bad. Then you're welcome. Anytime you want to use the restroom, you just ask, and we are more than obliged to, uh, she wasn't talking to me. That's some Old Testament. I like my fucking bit. That's some Old Testament shit. The New Testament says they already had their prophet. And I didn't even get to the end of these things, but whatever. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Which one? This side. This side. This side. side. David. Guys, go for David Bacon, everybody. You need it, it's open cards!
was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much.